I was in a discussion earlier about professional space clearers like yourself, who you get hired by real estate agents. Right. And um, someone said, because they, you have to give the full disclosure, if you're a realtor, if a house is haunted, you have to disclose it. So um, the question was, is it what percentage is they hire you so then they can say, yes, the house was haunted, but we brought in this expert space clearer to clean and cleanse the space, no guarantees. And what percentage is like a house is on the market, it's just not selling, just not selling. They bring you in to clear it. It has nothing to do with marketing, but like within a week or so later, the house is sold after you clear it. Like what, those are the only two incidences we were able to think up where a real estate agent would bring you in. And I'm sure we don't even know what we're talking no, about. You have- No, no I, no, I do know because- No, we don't, you no, do. No, I do. I yeah, really you do. That, um, I was written, I was approached by, um, oh, what's the name? Um, the online real estate magazine. Um, I don't know why I can't think of the name, but anyway. And so they wanted to interview real estate people that I've worked with uh, and so they can validate, okay, that, you know, what happened in the space. Um, and I had a hard time um, getting real estate agents to come on online out, out saying that they used someone to clean the house. All right. And so generally it's not paid by the, the seller. It's paid by the broker. Oh. And, and it's like another thing you do to stage the house because they don't want to be known as a woo woo, you know, realtor. Okay. Um, and wow. so they don't want to be the laughing stock. It's not accepted in, you know, among, you know, a lot of real estate across the country. All right. So people, so realtors that have worked metaphysically, they know. And so, and generally they're calling me when, when the property is priced right and, you know, it's staged well, it's in the right location and the thing is not selling. You can't even get people to come look at it. Okay. Um, and so, and they know because they're sensitive that there's stuff in the space. Mm -hmm. That's when I'll get the call. And, you know, and because I've been doing it so long, well, I'm, I'm doing it at a distance and I do it by the photos on the, on the broker's website. Right, yeah. right. I'm clicking through each or every photo that they have. Okay. And then I know, have a sense of the energy and then I calibrate, I, I calculate what I call a geopathic stress index. Right. And that's the amount of stress on the immune system coming from things in the space. Uh -huh. And, you know, it's not, you know, it's not like having a, you know, a, a gadget, right. That can actually measure the the electricity or something in the space, right? The ions in the space or something. Um, mm -hmm. And that's so that it's scientific. This is, it just is a quick way to give me an idea before I start, what am I dealing with? Because the higher that percentage stress, then I know I got to be more careful. You know, I have to be careful that people are living in the space, that they're protected. Yeah. I have some houses where I have them leave the premises for where I, I do the, you know, the clearing because there's so much you know darkness there you know so um but really do i have to do that but it's only if my guides are telling me when i'm working that i should be it's better to be safe than sorry or there's babies involved and things like that i'm, I'm a little extra sensitive so yeah um, so um, and do you pick up um any stories or what sort of impressions do you pick up when you like, oh, this definitely feels more demonic or this feels more witchy or this feels like just bad stuff with people happened or I think there's a portal to another dimension or, or is it um, a feeling of lightness as it goes from unhealthy energy mm -hmm. to healthy? Like, mm -hmm. Well, I'm not, I'm not a visual person per se. I mean, I do... I am visual, but I'm not like I don't see like the people around you or whatever type of a thing. I'll get a sense that's like there's something there. Okay. And I'm muscle testing. Like I have, I mean, what I do in terms of the house thing, you know, the first 
it's all on these charts because I teach teach people how to how to do it. This is for clearing yourself. This is for clearing the property. So all the different things that I traditionally look for are here, and then the, the correction is on the outside of the ring. All right. Yeah. And, and there's you know these are more like your demonic energies have extraterrestrial energies and so forth at the bottom. Okay. Um, so. Um, but then once I clear the space, then I create sacred space. So I tune it with angelic energy. I balance it by the five elements. I have mm -hmm. angelic resonance symbols, soul symbols that I can put in like for abundance, uh, um, you know, group harmony. Um, a lot of times I'll put in the, in the center of the, of the home, um, a Buddha or an angel, you know, in the center, mm -hmm. I, I listen to what the home needs. I check for the energy of the house or the soul of the house. When you have a lot of stress, it, it, it's just like a person, it, it bolts, okay? Mm -hmm. So after I balance it, I, I'll retrieve it and it creates a little more um, livelihood or something in the space, mm -hmm. you know, when it's present. Just, um, just like if, if someone um, is out of their body or um, their soul can be flowed up somewhere when they have a lot of, negative energies um when you get when that their soul to drop back in you can see it in their eyes oh yeah and and um their feel they're just different okay and it's the same thing in the space when you when you retrieve the energy you know you know maybe you know some people would have a hard time thinking about a home has a soul but the energy of the home okay um yeah. of the space so so everywhere you are out in nature, there's some energy, natural energy or spirit of, of that space. And so that, that, that spirit of whatever you want to call it, whether you want to call it a soul or energy of the space, can take uh -huh. off, all right, and be vacant. So it's, so it's like a dead space. Um, so when you retrieve it, it brings life back into the, the, the property. So. Oh, 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 oh,